If this is the first time that you are visiting our channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Natural gas is an invisible force that powers our world. It heats our homes and cooks our food. It fuels industries and generates electricity. But where does this energy come from? Natural gas is a fossil fuel, a product of ancient life and geological processes that unfolded over millions of years. Ancient organisms like tiny plants and algae harnessed the sun's energy through photosynthesis. They converted sunlight into chemical energy, storing it within their bodies. When these organisms died, they settled on the ocean floor or within sediment layers. Over vast stretches of time, layers upon layers of sediment piled up, burying the organic remains deeper and deeper. This pressure combined with the Earth's internal heat transformed the organic matter into hydrocarbons. Natural gas is primarily composed of methane, the simplest hydrocarbon. The formation of natural gas is a testament to the Earth's dynamic nature. It is a process driven by the interplay of biological and geological forces. Imagine the Earth as a living, breathing entity. Its continents drift, its crust shifts, and its interior churns with molten rock. These geological processes shape the Earth's surface and drive the formation of natural resources, including fossil fuels. Natural gas formation starts with the accumulation of organic matter. This organic matter primarily consists of the remains of microscopic marine organisms. As these plankton died, their tiny bodies sank to the ocean floor, forming layers of organic-rich sediment. Imagine standing on the edge of a vast ocean millions of years ago. The water teems with microscopic life. Tiny plankton, the base of the marine food web, drift and multiply, harnessing the sun's energy. As these plankton die, their remains, along with other organic debris, slowly settle on the ocean floor. Layer upon layer of this organic-rich sediment accumulates, forming a blanket over the seabed. Rivers carry sediment from the land, adding to the growing layers. Over time, the weight of these accumulating sediments exerts immense pressure on the layers below. This pressure compacts the sediment, squeezing out water and transforming the loose, unconsolidated material into sedimentary rock. Buried deep beneath layers of sediment, the organic matter embarks on a remarkable transformation. Subject to increasing heat and pressure, it undergoes a series of chemical and physical changes. The Earth's crust becomes a giant pressure cooker, slowly cooking the organic ingredients into natural gas. As temperatures rise, complex organic molecules begin to break down. This process, known as thermal cracking, transforms the long chains of hydrocarbons found in organic matter into shorter, simpler molecules. Methane, the primary component of natural gas, is one such molecule. Over millions of years, the organic matter transforms into a mixture of hydrocarbons, including natural gas, oil, and coal. Once formed, natural gas doesn't just sit idly underground, it is a restless fluid, always seeking a path to escape the high-pressure environment where it originated. This journey, known as migration, can take natural gas thousands of feet upward and over vast distances. Think of natural gas as a bubble rising through a glass of water. It is lighter than the surrounding rock and water, so it naturally migrates upwards through porous and permeable rock layers. These layers like sandstone act like giant sponges, allowing fluids to flow through their interconnected spaces. The migration of natural gas is not always a smooth journey. It can encounter impermeable layers like shale or clay, which act as barriers. The migration of natural gas doesn't always lead to the surface. Sometimes it encounters geological formations that act like giant underground traps preventing further movement. These traps are essential for the accumulation of natural gas into reservoirs, the concentrated deposits from which we extract this valuable resource. Imagine a dome-shaped layer of impermeable rock, like shale, overlying a porous and permeable layer of sandstone. Natural gas migrating upwards gets trapped beneath this impermeable layer, unable to escape. These geological traps come in various shapes and sizes. Structural traps like folds and faults in rock layers can create pockets where natural gas accumulates. Stratigraphic traps formed by changes in the type or arrangement of sedimentary layers can also trap natural gas. The journey of natural gas from deep underground reservoirs to our homes and industries is an engineering marvel. 
It involves drilling wells thousands of feet into the earth, using specialized equipment and techniques to extract the gas safely and efficiently. Once a natural gas reservoir is discovered and deemed economically viable, the extraction process begins. Engineers drill wells into the earth, using a rotating drill bit to penetrate the rock layers. Drilling fluid, a mixture of water, chemicals, and weighting agents, is circulated down the well bore to lubricate the drill bit, remove rock cuttings, and prevent well bore collapse. As the well is drilled, steel casing is cemented in place to stabilize the well bore and prevent contamination of groundwater resources. Once the well reaches the gas bearing formation, perforations are created in the casing and cement, allowing natural gas to flow into the well bore. The natural gas under high pressure flows from the reservoir into the well bore and up to the surface. Extracted natural gas while rich in methane is not yet ready for consumer use. It contains impurities that must be removed to meet stringent quality standards. This is where natural gas processing plants come into play, acting as giant refineries that transform raw natural gas into a usable energy source. Imagine a vast industrial complex with towering distillation columns and a network of pipelines crisscrossing the site. This is a natural gas processing plant where raw natural gas undergoes a series of separation and purification processes. One crucial step is the removal of water vapor, which can condense and cause corrosion in pipelines. Various techniques such as dehydration units are used to remove water vapor, ensuring the gas remains dry and transportable. Other impurities such as carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and heavier hydrocarbons are also removed. Natural gas, once a byproduct of oil production, has become an indispensable energy source, powering our homes, industries, and transportation systems. Its versatility, efficiency, and relatively clean-burning nature have made it a cornerstone of modern society. In our homes, natural gas heats our water, warms our living spaces, and fuels our stoves and ovens. It provides a reliable and efficient source of energy for everyday tasks, enhancing our comfort and convenience. Industries rely heavily on natural gas as a fuel and feedstock. It powers manufacturing plants, generates electricity, and serves as a raw material for the production of fertilizers, plastics, and other essential products. Natural gas is a key driver of economic growth and industrial development. The transportation sector is also increasingly turning to natural gas as a cleaner alternative to gasoline and diesel fuel. Natural gas is often touted as a bridge fuel, providing a cleaner alternative to coal while supporting the transition to a low-carbon energy future. However, it is essential to acknowledge both the environmental benefits and concerns associated with natural gas production and consumption. On the positive side, natural gas burns cleaner than coal, emitting significantly less carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides. These pollutants contribute to air pollution, acid rain, and climate change. Switching from coal to natural gas and electricity generation can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Natural gas production and transportation, however, can have environmental impacts. Methane leaks from natural gas infrastructure contribute to climate change as methane is a potent greenhouse gas. Hydraulic fracturing, a technique used to extract natural gas from shale formations, has raised concerns about water contamination and induced seismicity. As we navigate the complexities of climate change and energy security, the future of natural gas is intrinsically linked to innovation and sustainability. Technological advancements and responsible practices will shape the role of natural gas in a low-carbon energy future. One area of innovation is carbon capture, utilization, and storage CCUS, technologies. CCUS aims to capture carbon dioxide emissions from natural gas power plants and industrial processes, preventing their release into the atmosphere. The captured carbon dioxide can then be utilized for various purposes such as enhanced oil recovery or stored permanently underground. Another promising avenue is the development of renewable natural gas RNG. RNG is produced from biogas, a renewable energy source derived from organic waste materials like agricultural residues, food waste, and landfill gas. RNG can be injected into existing natural gas pipelines, providing a low-carbon alternative to fossil natural gas. If you want us to make this kind of video, make sure you comment below and do not forget to subscribe.